Flames ripped through 255 Tapas Lounge just before 8 this morning in Atlanta's Castleberry Hill neighborhood. The fire spread to the Pearl Restaurant and Lounge next door by the time crews got there. A woman who lives nearby saw the flames from her window and helped people get to safety. Getting Arena, uh, my family out of the house and then running out to make sure that any employees that were next door were okay. The fire raged for about 30 minutes before crews got this one under control. Search warrants served in a dive boat fire that killed 34 people. California investigators searched the Truth Aquatics offices in Santa Barbara and the company's two remaining boats today. The dive boat burned and sank last Monday. The victims were sleeping in a bunk room and flames blocked the escape route. The boat's captain and crew were the only survivors. A North Georgia congressman says he's open to serving in the Senate, replacing Senator Johnny Isaacson. Paul County Republican Representative Doug Collins tells the Associated Press he talked briefly about the seat with Governor Brian Kemp. The governor must name a temporary replacement until a special election next fall. Senator Isaacson will resign this December because of health issues. Challenging the president, a third Republican is now in the 2020 race. Former South Carolina Congressman Mark Sanford will formally launch his bid for the White House later this week. Sanford has long been an outspoken critic of President Trump. Former Massachusetts Governor Bill Weld and former Illinois Congressman Joe Walsh are also seeking the Republican nomination.